Hello and welcome to CXO Connect. I'm Sushant from EC Info Solutions and today we are going to talk about sales funnels. We all know that successful marketing is about showing the right customers the right message at the right time. But most organizations have a single communication strategy that they pitch to everyone irrespective of their sales funnel. So today we are going to talk about what exactly is a sales funnel and how you can go about creating one for your business. A sales funnel represents the stages that your customers undertake starting with being prospects and ending with being paid customers. At the top of the funnel, you've got unqualified prospects, the people who are only aware about your product or service. The second stage represents people who are not only aware about your product or service, but who are also in the market for what you sell. In business lingo, we call these people as leads. The third stage is for those people who are in the market for what you sell and who have already communicated with you or your sales team and are yet undecided. These are our prospects. At the end of the funnel, this stage represents a win for your business because now not only do you have leads and prospects, but also paying customers. At various stages in the funnel, you will find that leads and prospects will drop off due to various reasons. Maybe your prices were too high. Maybe your product was not appropriate or maybe you just sent them the wrong communication. Hence, carefully monitoring your sales funnel will let you analyze why leads and prospects are dropping off and hopefully you can take corrective action to increase conversions. So how do you go about creating a sales funnel for your business? The first step is to sit with your team and brainstorm the sales and marketing processes and communication strategies to make sure they are correct and comprehensive. At this stage, you will be able to correctly define your sales process. Maybe your sales funnel has four stages or maybe it has six. Every organization can have a unique funnel. The second stage is to sit and define what the customer is expecting at these various stages in the process. For example, at the top of the funnel, your prospects are only aware about your product or brand. And at this stage, they do not care about your product pricing. So communicating the right collateral is extremely important. Third stage is to define your communication strategies for your customers within those different stages. Fourth stage is to broadcast this targeted communications so that your leads convert into prospects and your prospects convert into customers. When you use a CRM software such as Freedom CRM, it becomes very, very easy to have a real-time customized sales funnel which you can monitor using your mobile phone. Some of the real-time indicators are number of deals in your funnel, average size of deal in your funnel, average number of deals that are got closed, your sales velocity and many many more. So remember sales funnels are extremely important to monitor and improve your sales processes and volume. I guarantee that if you cre create the correct sales funnel, you will be able to predict and improve your sales volume, you will be able to close deals quicker and you will be able to sell more by spending less marketing money. And finally, you will be able to convert happy customers into your brand ambassadors who will bring in referrals for your business. Thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe to CXO Connect for the next tutorial.